praying. Okay, go ahead and forward one. I'm Stu Karoff. I am the Technology Coordinator at Community School of Excellence, and I'm also a faculty advisor for the CSE Asian Penguins. The Asian Penguins start off every club meeting with a call and response. The meeting leader, always a kid, will ask the, the other kids, what are we trying to do? The kids respond, change the world. And then the leader asks, how do you change the world? To which the kids respond, be crazy enough to think you can. What are the Asian Penguins? Well, simply put, the Asian Penguins are a Linux users group. How did all this start? Back in the 2011-2012 school year, I was a new teacher at Community School of Excellence, and we had just started our one-to-one -one laptop program. It wasn't long before we discovered what so many schools before us had already discovered. Middle schoolers break laptops. Lots of them. To overcome the shortage of laptops that I was running into in my class, I applied and got a hardware grant of four desktop PCs from a great nonprofit in Minneapolis called Free Geek Twin Cities. Free Geek Twin Cities tries to close the digital divide by recycling computers using Linux as the operating system. Why Linux? Because Linux is a free open source operating system, which means they can get it free of charge and they have permission to install it on as many computers as they want to. This keeps costs down. Well then, I had four Linux desktop PCs in my room and it wasn't long before the kids really started getting into using them. In fact, I had a group of kids who had come to my room after school every day just to use the computers while they were waiting for the after school program to start. I thought it would be fun to teach them how the hardware and software worked, so I started conducting lessons with them to teach them those things, eventually going up to installing the operating system itself. I thought such a group ought to have a name. The kids were Asian, the mascot of Linux was a penguin, so I suggested Asian Penguins. The kids all liked it, and the name stuck. The next year, we got permission from the school to run an experiment where we installed Linux on some of the student laptops so the students would use that rather than Windows. We surveyed those same students at the end of the year to see how their experience went. The results weren't even close. The students overwhelmingly preferred Linux to Windows on the same hardware for speed, look and feel, and general stability. Now while our school still mostly uses Windows, we did convince the leadership of the school to let us continue to use Linux on at least some of the school's computers. In fact, I'm proud to say that for our academic plan for this year at our school, our school now says that for technology, we are one school, with three platforms, Microsoft Windows, Apple iOS, and Linux. But why use Linux at all? Well, first off, most schools in the United States are not using Linux. If you want to stand out, don't do what everyone else is doing. Community School of Excellence is the only Hmong school in the world that has a Linux users group. And our deployment of Linux for student use is bigger than at any school in all of Minnesota. Now, another reason for using Linux is that while most American schools are not embracing it, most businesses in some fashion are. According to the 2013 DICE report, when Fortune 500 companies were surveyed and asked, what is your number one hiring need for IT in the next six months? 93% of them said, we need people who know Linux. And of those, 90% said, we're having trouble finding qualified help. 
Where are schools in all of this? I think that's a question we should all be asking. But back to the story. Something happened after that that really changed the direction of the Asian penguins. The kids started looking at our school and our digital divide and seeing that 30% of our students didn't have a computer in their home. And then they started asking the question, can we do something about it? We obtained some older machines. The kids learned how to install Linux on them. And we found some families to help. The first family was a Kareni family who had been in the United States maybe about two months. We visited their home. We set up the equipment. It was our first attempt. And we had to make it up as we went along. But when we were done, the family had a working computer. The kids had showed them the basics of how to use the software. And we had made some new friends. After that, the kids started calling these trips missions. And every kid in the club wanted to go on one. Lots of other kids at our school started to come to the Asian Penguins because they wanted to get in on the action. After all, lots of people talk about changing the world. The Asian Penguins get to leave school for an hour or so and actually go out and do it. All of this happened because some kids wanted to try something different, thought it might be fun to try to change the world, and were crazy enough to think they could. This is their story today. Thank you.